Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to visualize and render real flow particles in Maya with using the real flow particle channels. I'm gonna create a very basic scene here in real flow. Just I'm gonna create a plane, just a simple waist. Just a circle emitter and the gravity. Uh, 100 frames is enough for this. Uh, let's get a, a speed key. I want to stop the emitting in the 52, 53. Uh, let's simulate this. I will be back when the simulation ends. Okay, uh, the simulation is end. We have a simulation like this, quite uh, easy. Let's go back to Maya and import those particles. Uh, you can use uh, Maya connectivity plugin with Reflow. Go to scenes, uh, project name, particles, circle one, dot bin. It's great. Uh, here are uh, particles in Maya. Uh, for this lesson, uh, let's uh, visualize the pressure attribute. Uh, like you see here in per particle attributes, uh, reflow particles comes comes with. A uh, couple of channels: vortsty, velocity, h, viscosity, density, etc. Let's create a, a, a per particle co color attribute. The particle becomes black, and let's see. Uh, uh, RF pressure is what kind of uh, attribute, and what is the value that it contains so first I'm going to change the particle render type to numeric but before that let me decrease the level of detail so it, it's going to decrease the particle number in uh, viewport so I say uh, numeric and hit return render type in the attribute name uh, field, I'm gonna type RF, RF with uh, lowercase and P capital and pressure. As you can see, all these uh, values are different, so they are uh, pressure value of the attributes. So I'm going to uh, create a very basic expression into the RGB PP attribute. First, we need to create a, f a variable that contains the uh, pressure value of our particles. I'm going to say float dollar pressure equals to particle shape one point rf pressure and then particle shape one rgb pp is equals to i'm going to use a lin step function lin step function takes three uh, arguments the range let's start with zero and two hundred to uh, two thousand and our value this is for the red channel. I'm going to copy this, hit comma and paste two times. This is for red, this is for green, then this is for blue. I'm going to copy this and hit create. Oh, there's an error. Uh, let me check where it comes from. Okay, there's a mistake. It needs to be L. 
Ctrl C, create, go to runtime before dynamics, Ctrl V and hit create. Uh, let's make this uh, level of detail 1 again. Go back to particle render type and select point. Hit, uh, go back and play again. Here you can see the pressure attribute in real flow in my viewport. Uh, we can rather than uh, going here and changing the numbers, we can easily see what numbers gives uh, what kind of visualiz visualization in real flow. You can change the property of uh, particle display with this menu. You can go to uh, pressure and for automatic range you can say no we can uh, plug in numbers here let's say 0 and 50 or 200, 2050 okay we have a good uh, value here and let's uh, activate the uh, Arnold plugin ok it's loaded already I'm gonna create two array light to see uh, particles in the render let's give them a, uh, an exposure like 7 7 change render engine to Arnold and hit render I think it's uh, checking the license let's go to system and skip the license check ok now the Arnold shows the default render uh, default particle color it, it doesn't get the values from the RGBPP the cool thing is there is a you can assign AI standard shader to particles now they are gonna be white this color if we plug uh, AI user data color to diffuse color of the AI standard and you can give the color attribute name as a RGB PP and hit enter now if you render it you can see our uh, real flow pressure values in, in our render then you can play with the particle radius and other stuff Uh, that's pretty much all uh, thanks for watching